Hi there, in today's video I'm going to be looking at the best ways to fuel for your next early morning run. Heading out on a training run just as the sun is starting to peak over the horizon can be the best time of the day to get out there or for many of us with busy lifestyles it is the only time of day to be able to get in a training run but for me personally getting out there early especially here in Spain where you've got daytime temperatures hitting uh, 100 Fahrenheit or 40 degrees centigrade on a day to day to day basis I mean we've been having those temperatures now running two months straight without one day dropping below so heading out in the early morning run when the temperatures are nice and cool is literally the best time of day to be getting out there however balancing proper fueling with getting out the door as quickly as possible can be an incredibly tricky thing for most and what's more finding an early morning fueling strategy is an incredibly personal thing so what I'll be doing with you is sharing what works for me and because what I follow is whole food plant based nutrition that has very little negative impact as far as intestinal issues are concerned and what's more easily digestible and high carbohydrate I'm sure it's something that will be able to work for most of you at the same time. First and foremost, if you're looking at a relatively short run, say of up to 30 to 40 minutes, you really don't need to worry that much about a pre-fueling strategy because after all, most of us are able to maintain glycogen stores in our muscles that will be able to last us through an hour to an hour and a quarter so 30 to 40 minute run you won't be noticing any real drop off in pace or anything like that personally I notice drop off in pace without fueling if my run is longer than 45-50 minutes then my pace starts dropping off as my glycogen stores start getting tapped so if you are heading out on a longer run what to do personally whether it's a short run or a long run I take a few sips of water just before heading out the door just from a hydration point of view my daily aim is to get a liter of water in or a quart of water before breakfast but I just do a few sips of water before heading out on my early morning run simply because I don't want a slushy belly while I'm out running then as I get back in for my run I'll chug down the rest of my quart of water and that way I'll be able to get my pre-breakfast hydration in and set me up for the rest of the day if my run is going to be longer than 40 minutes then I will be pre-fueling with a ripe ripe in other words spotty ripe banana just before heading out the door easy to digest high carbohydrate content and it will keep you going then importantly if my run is going to be longer than 45 minutes to an hour then if my run is going to be longer than an hour I will definitely be having a half quart of water half a liter of water in a drink bottle in my hand as I'm heading out the door to be able to take regular sips as I'm going along because so what I notice on a personal level is especially myself with a high sweat rate is that as my body starts getting dehydrated I slow down and that slowing down process happens way before glycogen, glycogen deficiency sets in so from a personal point of view keeping hydrated the absolute number one factor to be bearing in mind when heading out the door on an early morning run and secondly if I'm going to be running for more than 45 minutes chug down a banana before I head out the door if I'm going to be out running for more than hour and a quarter hour and a half I'll chug down two bananas before heading out the door really 
bananas out there seem to be getting an incredibly bad rap because of high sugar content because of high carbohydrate content well guess what when you're out there on your morning run that's what you're burning and if that's what you're burning that's what you need to fuel your body with people have also been telling me that I shouldn't be eating that many bananas because of the high potassium content and potassium too much potassium into your system at one time can kill you absolutely but to be able to get in enough potassium into your body to be able to kill you would be literally needing to cram in something like 80 bananas in about a two to three minute period and i don't know about you but i've never been able to get i could never even imagine getting 80 bananas into my system in two to three minutes so the potassium thing, the potassium danger thing from eating too many bananas, really nothing to worry about. One or two bananas before heading out the door, get your training run in, come back, smash up a nice big banana and date smoothie for your recovery drink afterwards. Bananas, dates, water, maybe a little bit of coconut sugar if, you, if the bananas in your area aren't that sweet. Smash that down as a po post training run, that'll get you what? About a thousand or so calories of good wholesome fruit calories into your system quickly digestible and what's more you won't pack on the fat because after all it's the fat that packs on the fat so that's my take on fueling for your early morning run please remember to click the like button down below and share this video out amongst your running friends and finally, while you're down, down below clicking buttons, there's a little subscribe button down there as well. Click that, that way you'll be able to stay up to date with my various videos on different training advices that I'll be bringing out on a week-to-week -week basis. Stay safe out there. See you next time. Cheers.